today is the much anticipated day of when I'm going to show you how I style and curl my hair. So if you want to see how I go from this straight hair to these bouncy curls, then just keep on watching. Hi friends, I have been promising you forever that I was going to show you how I style my short hair since I lopped off about seven inches of it. We're gonna be getting into that. I want to go through a few of the products that I actually use to get to this point, which is the point to where my hair is dry and ready to curl. So I'm gonna start off with the shampoo that I love. And I actually heard about this from my good friend, Sherry at Graceful Beauty. This is Pure Body Naturals Restore and Strengthen shampoo now this has a dht blocker dht is the hormone that attacks your follicles and makes your hair fall out prematurely so this has a blocker of that in it and this is something that i use i scrub my scalp with it with my fingertips and i just let it sit for about five minutes while i'm in the shower and then i'll go on and i'll do the next step and the next step is always some sort of conditioner because I do have very fine color treated hair that the ends can get very dry on and keep in mind that your hair is dead cells this is not anything that's living so we need to keep it moisturized we need to keep it looking really good one of the ways I do that is with the L'Oreal L Vive Total Repair 5 this is a very thick balm that I will put on and I'll leave on for two or three minutes and I usually stay away from the roots with this and it just really helps my hair not only to be strengthened but to really be conditioned and soft and stay nice until the next time that I shampoo. And then very recently, I also talked to you guys about the L'Oreal L Vive 8 Wonder Water. This is such a good product. If you're somebody that struggles with your hair being fine and limp, and yet you know that you need to still condition it, this is great because it's just water. It's super light. But this one is so fantastic for making sure that your hair is just super, super, super soft. I cannot believe how soft this is. And the other thing is it gives some shine to your hair as well. Now I don't have here, but I really love the John Frieda clear glaze or clear gloss for hair. I think that's a fantastic treatment. I'm out of it. I'm using this one right now instead of it. I like them both very much and I usually have both of them on hand, but I'm trying to use up kind of what I have. And then if you do have blonde hair and you're like me and you suffer with it looking brassy at times, you might want to try this. This is the Pravana Perfect Blonde Mask. I have been using this for years now. It is completely dark, deep purple. I will take a hand towel and I will really wring my hair out with a hand towel. Then I'll put this on. I'll let it stay on for however long while I'm, you know, shaving my legs, washing the rest of my body, and then I'll rinse this out. Now, if I leave this on very long, it's going to give me super ashy hair, which I don't mind. Right now, um, I need to do a treatment again, but I don't mind how ashy this gets. This lasts for quite some time because it is an actual toner that you put on your hair that will stay with you probably for three to five washes. I love all of those as prep for my hair. And then once I get out of the bath and I've towel dried my hair and I'm kind of letting it air dry, I better get my glasses or I won't be able to see the teeny tiny print. Kerastas Initialist uh, Advanced Scalp and Hair Concentrate. This has been helping my hair not fall out so much. As menopause comes towards me, I'm just finding that my hair is having a really hard time. It just falls out and I need to help boost the regrowth and that's what this is doing. And this was recommended by one of you subscribers and I thank you so much for that. And then it's a 10 product is my leave-in conditioner that I use as a thermal protectant and I use it for shine. It's got keratin, the one that I use in it. And I just take two or three squirts across my hand and then work it in. And I didn't tell you, I just use one um, dropper full of this on my scalp and then I rub this in the Kerastase and I just give it a good massage with my fingers and then I'll go in and I'll do the it's a 10 it's a 10 it does several different things it says increases style and manageability 
perfect for all hair types, helps reduce lost protein, protects the natural keratin, protects against heat, restores hydration, detangles, helps strengthen, and seals the cuticles for extra shine. I have been using this for years and years too. This is a product that I will not be without. I need extra protection, especially when you are curling your hair with a curling iron, which is what I'm going to do today. And then the last styling product that I put in here is from My Amazing Hair. It's full and thick shape building spray. It says texture, volume, and control. This again is a watery product. It's like the consistency of hairspray. And so I'll put that in my hand again, rub it together, and then work it through my hair. This is really good for building body in my hair without weighing it down because it is that liquid product. And I talked about this one very recently too. This is the Kenro Nitro Memory Cream. This is Firm Hold Cream Mousse. It says three day style memory. I don't know if it really does that. If I'm going to use this one, I put this at the very base of my hair right up here to give a lot of volume. And then I will dry my hair with my brush and give it a lot of volume up there. And I love this because it does give a lot of volume and it does give a lot of hold. Um, but I won't use all of these products together. I trade off kind of depending on what the mood I'm in. Now, what I do use most times I'm do doing my hair is the Kenra Thermal styling spray firm hold number 19. This is a fantastic spray that I have been using probably for almost as long as I've been using their hairspray because I discovered it right after their hairspray. So I would say that I've been using this for over 10 years. First off, before I show you how I use that, I want to take my part. See how my part is straight down the middle? You could use either end of it. I'm using the little pick part and I want to zigzag my part just a little bit so that it doesn't look like I've just got a part straight down the middle. And then I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to pull just a little bit over this side. And then I'm going to take some and I'm going to pull it over this side just to make it look like it's just a little bit off. Because if I have a straight part, my hair ends up falling too much. So then I'll take this product and what I'm going to do is I am going to spray this directly onto my hair. And as I'm spraying it, I'm lifting and I'm spraying underneath because I want all of my hair to get coated with this. And the reason that I am using this first is because... This is going to give me some incredible hold in my hair for my curling. I want to make sure that every piece of my hair has that in there. Now I'm going to let that air dry for just a few minutes. And while we're letting it air dry, I'm going to tell you about this brush that I use when I'm blow drying my hair. So this is a wet brush as well, but it's a huge round brush, which I love because my hair is a little bit longer. So if I want to blow dry it and just dry it a little bit straighter, I'm going to lift and I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to just dry it like that and it's going to really give me a lot of body. When I'm drying my hair in order to curl it and flip it backwards, I always take this brush and I use it backwards almost the whole way through my head because if you use it forwards and you go down and then you try to curl your hair backwards, it's already gonna have that bend in it. It's not gonna work as well. And it doesn't tangle because it's bigger and then it has the air flow um, cavity right through here where there isn't any bristles. So like that thing very much. Now we're to the point, we're gonna start curling. This brush right here is a goodie brush that I got 50 million years ago and I cannot find another one like it. If you guys know of another one that is like that, let me know. It's got a ton of hair down in there. It looks terrible, sorry. So I'm gonna brush through my hair to get all of that product from the camera to not be crunchy in my hair. And by the way, I have a mirror right here where I'm going to be looking to make sure that my hair um, is doing what I need it to. I always start right here at the crown and I'm just going to take, let's see, let's make sure some of this hair is over. I'm just going to take a bit of that hair. I do my hair in sections and I don't pin it up and then go down. I just find that when I do that, this hair down here gets more curl than I want it to, and I want that to be a little straighter. So I'm going to take at the crown, I'm going to have a hard time doing this. By the way, this is an inch and a quarter curling iron ceramic tourmaline from Hot Tools. This has been discontinued since, but I do have a link for one that they replaced it with. I just had this one, have this one, and I have never replaced it because it's just such a dang good one. So I'm going to go down there at the base, and I'm going to take that, and I'm just going to kind of, you know, release the handle a little bit and continue to wind it up until there is just a little bit of hair right there sticking out. And then at the very end, I'm just going to let that hair go in and then I'm going to go down. And I just go back and forth on each side and I'm going to do that until I get all of these curls where I want them to be. And I just go from the base 
wrap it around, continue to get that hair to go around that barrel. And if you can see right there at the end, there's some of it sticking out. And at the very end, I'm just gonna let that fall through that curl. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to swirl it around a little bit because I don't want it to fall out. That's one of the things that I find if I just pull the curling iron out, then that curl's gonna go right with it. But if I make the curl kind of train around my fingers and then help it, a little bit it does better and then I just will go all the way around and I usually work from the back I take set different sections and I will make them go different ways usually I do two on each side to go forward of my hair hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here this is a little bit harder I like most of the hair to go back but occasionally I like to put a curl or two in there that's going to help it come forward and that's where I, you know, put that in the back because it seems to do a little bit better. And then I'll do one each on each side that comes forward as well, but that's it. So hopefully you guys can see this is really hard for me. I'm not used to doing hair tutorials, but hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. And I'm just releasing that handle a little bit or that lever a little bit and letting the hair go through there. And then I pull it straight down and I kind of cup my hand around it to keep the curl going the way that I want it to. I actually will work in little sections. Let's do one right here. Sorry about the hand shaking. Everybody knows all about that disability. Now when I'm pulling my hair up like this, boy, I can see that I need a color really bad. All right, so we're gonna wrap it around. See how it's just falling around there and it just gets trained around there and I'm just taking this ever so slightly, that lever, and I'm releasing it and I'm curling, releasing and curling until I get to the end. And that one's gonna be just fine as far as what, the way that the curl falls. And then I'm gonna take this one right here. I'm taking about an inch, maybe an inch and a half sections so that it doesn't fall. And this, I don't want there to be too much hair in here because this one's gonna be trained to go another way. So I'm gonna just take a very small section right there and I'm going to make that particular curl come forward. Doing it forwards and backwards will help you when it's time to separate your curls. Um, it will be a little bit easier for you to be able to manage it and piece them apart a little bit. So hopefully you are kind of seeing what I'm doing. I just wanted to make sure that I kind of led you through this. Curling everything else back except for, like I said, two curls on the side will go forward, but everything else goes back. And I don't leave my hair in for very long because my hair does take a curl because I've been training it for years to take a curl. But you, if you have uh, more stubborn hair, you might need to leave it in the curling iron a little bit longer to do what you want it to do. Some people say, well, I can't use a curling iron because nothing ever works. If you have a flat iron, do it with a flat iron, If you and if you're used to that. If you have rollers, do it with rollers, um, if you're used to that. I used to love rollers when I was younger. I used to use them every single time I did my hair. So yeah, whatever you're comfortable with. Then this here right here, I'm gonna direct it over this way a little bit extra, and I'm going to take that one single hair and I'm over directing it to the other side. See how it's kind of falling against more fo my forehead? I want it to retain its curl, but I want it to come this way so that when I do style it out, it is definitely going to come across my forehead a little bit because I have such a high forehead and it just drives me crazy. So you probably might have some little stragglers like I do. You can go ahead and just continue to turn them and you know, whichever way you want to, front way or backwards. And then when I get down here into this hair that's down here that's kind of turning uh, forward, I am going to want all of that hair to go backwards. So I'm gonna take smaller sections because if I take too big a section, it's not gonna curl at all. So I'm gonna take a little bit smaller section. I'm gonna try and get as close to the base as I can and I, you can see that hair sticking out right there. And I'm just going to continue to curl it around the barrel or pull it around the barrel, wind it around the barrel, and just to the end. And then when I take this one out, I'm gonna really be sure to really wrap it around on itself just while it's cooling for a second. Because if I don't, that curl is gonna fall out because this hair in the bottom is the most stubborn hair on my head. It just wants to go straight every single time. And in order to get a bend backwards, I have to help it out a little bit. When I get to that hair on my, the very back of my head, 
I really take a long time and let it sit in the iron for a long time because if I don't do that, it is never going to stay. It's going to fall straight down. And then when it comes out, I just take my hand and I wrap around it and I scrunch it so that as it's cooling, that curl will stay in there. Okay, I'm going to do this side and then I'll be right back. All right, so I just have this top part left to do here and I thought I would take you through how I do that one more time so you can see and just taking little pieces of it not bigger pieces you want smaller pieces all the way through this and i don't get too complicated with it but i do make sure that it's standing almost straight up here on the top so that i can get a little bit of height but at the same time i don't want it to be poofy up there <laughs> Everything I pull forward and then put it in the iron not backwards I pull it forward because the curl is going backwards. So if you pull it forward, it's going to give you more body And then this hair right here is thick enough that I'm going to do two So once again over direct it to the other side put it in the iron wrap it close to the head and then just pull it through the iron a bit. This I don't leave in the curling iron quite as long because I don't want this to have as much curl as everywhere else. This stuff that's right on the top, right in the front. All right, when you're done, you really want to resist the urge to brush through this hair. I want you to completely put your brush out of the way I never use a brush from this point on. I might use the little teasing comb, but I never use a brush. So you're going to use your fingers. I'm going to let this really set down and really cool down before I go in with my fingers. And that's going to take a couple minutes. Okay, now it is cooled down. So I'm just going to take my fingers and I'm just going to just separate the curls. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going to get real crazy with it. I'm just fingering it a little bit to get it to have more body more shape I will over direct some curls to the other side to try and piece them a, a little bit get them a little bit more PC and um, I will just continue to work with this with my fingers not a lot because my hair again has that straight to it if I do that too much it's going to lose the curl now look at the curl isn't it great it's really good and I'm going to just turn this as far around as I can so you can see how well that curled and curls are kind of loose which I like about it you can see how this strand right here which I turned forward is kind of coming onto the ones that were backwards that will give you a little bit more body a little bit more texture and I like that so much now for the finishing touch this is the Kenra volume spray 25 I've been using this for over 20 years and I just have never found anything that I like as well as this and a bottle like this lasts me such a long time that I don't mind paying the extra price for it I'm gonna just go under my hair and lift my hair and spray at the same time and I am not stingy with it but I really want that under part of my hair to have some hairspray so that it has some lift in there otherwise it's just gonna fall flat all day long and it's gonna look like big hair and a whole lot of scare but it really isn't it is just going to lay flat and nice here in a minute I'm gonna give it a good spray all the way over and it's redirected over this way and I'm gonna let that just kind of just set and dry a little bit so i'm just going to kind of play with these curls i'm going to piece them apart a little bit this hairspray is great for creating a little bit of texture you go back in with your fingers and just tussle this around a little bit piece it apart if you need more body you can go in with a pick and you can just you know take that pick and give it a little bit more body wherever you feel like you need it and yeah that is just how i do my hair that's pretty much it now after that dries it's completely dry now i can redirect it and i can flip it back over if i want to and right now it doesn't look half bad like that but i am thinking that i liked it moved over just a little bit onto this side and that is how i actually get a ton of volume right here is i'll dry it one way curl it one way and then I will redirect it to the other way. So that's actually how I'm going to wear it today. I'm going to take this little hair right here and I'm going to direct it down so there's not so much poofiness right there. And then I've got all kinds of curls laying all different ways over on this side and I'm just piecing it apart again, 
pulling everything apart and then I'm going to take my hairspray and I'm going to lift and separate and move everything around the way that I want it to be. So that is it. That is the finished look. That is the finished finished hair. I don't have anything where I can see the back of my hair right now, so hopefully it looks okay. Hopefully you guys can see what this hair looks like and what the finished product is. And if it's not a super humid day, it is going to stay for me all day. I will just take and I will just spray the crap out of it right there so that I have some hold for the rest of the day. Thanks so much for tuning in. What did you think after waiting so long to see how I did my hair? What did you guys think? Did you enjoy this tutorial? I hope so. Please have a wonderful day. I love you all so very, very much. And I will talk to you in my very next video. Goodbye, my friends.